Hi, it's Peter Vogel with uh, Team Jetty again. And I just thought I'd share with you um, one of the cooler uh, features that I, of the 3.0 software that I've been able to take advantage of. Um, so I fly Precision Aerobatics and uh, just switched this year from Sportsman to Intermediate. Still trying to get the Intermediate uh, schedule into my head uh, so I don't need a caller when I'm practicing. But uh, until then, I've made my radio, my caller, um, first maneuvers take off so I don't need to worry about that too much. Uh, and then uh, when I need the next maneuver, I just click the button here. Two, reverse cube and eight with one half rolls. Three, stall turn, full roll up. Four, two, two, horizontal rolls. Five, half square loop, exit inverted. Six, square loop from top, exit inverted. Seven, half loop from top. Eight, two one half rolls in opposite directions. Pause and center. Nine. Bump debump with options. Ten. Non rolling triangle loop. So you get the idea. Um, I actually am limited to only 16 out of the uh, total 19 maneuvers uh, uh, clowning takeoff and landing. Uh, but because of the limit on the number of logical switches. So Jetty can definitely improve this further, but uh, at least it's it's possible to get through um, pretty much every maneuver that you need as long as you can remember the very last maneuver uh, prior to landing. Uh, that at least I can do. So how'd I do that? Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the menu and we'll go into fine tuning and digital trim. And you've got your usual trims, uh, the left and right buttons uh, for ailerons and for ele uh, up and down for elevator, similarly rudder and throttle. But there's this new section down here where you can add tr any button to be any kind of trim. So what I did is I made switch SK a trim with uh, reset on. So uh, what that means is every time I turn the radio on, it will start at a trim setting of zero. Uh, so we'll dig into that. Uh, so there it is. There's trim reset on, there's trim control, and then there's the standard things that you can trim. So I'll leave it at reset on. Uh, and uh, then you can set the increment and uh, what position, well, the increment and then how much uh, control you have. So uh, I have the increment set to 5% and we'll look at why that in a minute uh, and 100% control so I can go all the way up to 100% in increments of 5. So that's uh, pretty much all I need to do there and you'll have noticed as I was going through the calls it 11. is incrementing the trim and it eight. actually shows that um, additional trim there. So that the trim is part of it. The next part of it is to go into the logical switches. So we'll go into advanced properties, logical switches. And what I've done here is uh, set up a whole bunch of logical switches, in fact, 16 of them, uh, because I'm going to need each one uh, to have a unique sound. So each one of these simply makes sure that the current value is uh, greater than the baseline and um, less than one above the next trim step. So uh, we have trim 0 to 5, 5 to 10, and so forth. So uh, logical switch 1 is greater than 1. I could set it to greater than 0, but uh, then it triggers like immediately. So uh, I do greater than 1 and then and less than six. So when I'm at five, I'm, I'm fitting squarely within that uh, range. And similarly, if I go out to logical switch two, same deal, only this time I'm going for greater than six to less than 11, and so on and so forth. So each one of these switches uh, just checks the current trim position 
and uh, uses it. So when the trim is between 51 and 55, or 56, sorry, uh, then logical switch 11 will be enabled as it currently is. And, um, 12, double the moment with one half rolls. And so forth. So that's the logical switch setup. And then we go to sounds on event. And here I have logical switch one is simply uh, invoking my intermediate caller step two, uh, since I can remember takeoff, um, step two, and logical switch two does step three, logical switch through three does step four, and so forth, um, all the way down through logical switch 16. So the only disadvantage to this, I can't go backwards and uh, I'm limited to 16 and I'm using up all my logical switches. Uh, as it happens for this particular plane, that's not a big deal for me. I'm using this uh, for my high rates and so forth, so uh, I don't need to use the logical switches. If I did, uh, this would be, um, I just cut back the number of maneuvers. I can remember the first couple of maneuvers in the sequence and so forth, so I just start clicking the button when I need to. But very straightforward uh, thing to set up and a pretty cool feature. I'm hoping that Jetty will actually improve this in the future, since when you go to the actual audio player app um, and point it at a directory of files, uh, it will sequentially play through them one after the other with no pause. If there were simply a button that I could assign that says uh, play the next song or next sound really, uh, then uh, it could play the sound stop at the end of the sound and be ready to play the next sound and similarly you could have a switch that goes backwards. So I could use a three position switch to say flick forward go forward one song, flick backward, go backward one song. Something along those lines would be a much more convenient setup, but at least here in the 3.0 software with the trim reset on capability, uh, you can turn your radio into your virtual caller. That's it. And one other thing I uh, forgot to mention, with the DS-16, and its accelerometer controls, uh, you can do the same kind of thing. Extreme so, flight vanquish. Crank the volume up here. Two, reverse cubinate with one half rolls. Three, stall turn, full roll up. Four, two, two, horizontal rolls. So you can use the accelerometer instead of using a uh, momentary switch and so forth. Kind of cool. Uh, and again, same basic concept. Uh, if we go into advanced properties, oh, sorry, fine tuning, digital trim, what I've done is I've set up the x axis uh, of the gyro to be the trim reset on switch for me. Very straightforward, otherwise, the setup's identical.